Hi, and welcome to Cracking the Cryptic. So today we're going to do a couple of things differently from normal. First of all, we're going to go back to basics and make this as uh, useful a video for beginners as possible. And secondly, you're going to solve the whole puzzle with me. So how can we combine both of those things? Well, the best way is to go to the Times Quick Cryptic crossword. They publish the Quick Cryptic every day. It's slightly smaller and considerably more straightforward than the regular puzzle. So it's an extremely useful learning tool, even if you're just on your own. Um, but hopefully, as we go through the puzzle, what I'll try and do is explain which bits of the clue mean what for you, and then ask you to pause the video, see if you can work out the answer, and then we'll move on. Obviously, in some cases, you may not be able to work out the answer. Well, you can just look at the solution then and go for the next clue. So let's have a look at one across straight in. Scratch a piece of bed linen, match results shown here. Well, I don't immediately know what that is, so hats off to you if you have some idea. Um, what seems likely to me is that scratch um, is going to be an indication for a word. As always, try and think of a short synonym for scratch. And then a piece of bed linen is going to be something like um, another, there'll be a one of the normal pieces of bed linen, be it a pillow slip or a balance or a sheet or something, and then match results shown here. So there'll be one word meaning scratch, another word meaning a piece of bed linen, and the whole answer, the definition, there's always a definition at the beginning or end of a clue, will be somewhere where match results could be shown. I think that's the very likely parsing. I know the answer now. Pause the video if you need to think about it. First of all, a word for scratch. Secondly, a word for a piece of bed linen. And then the whole thing put together, some way you can show the match results. So pause it now. And the answer is score sheet, where score is to scratch. Now, that may not have been the meaning of scratch that you were thinking of, but it's a fairly common one. If you score something with your nails, you scratch it. And the sheet is a fairly obvious piece of bed linen. I think I didn't mention that before I'd actually worked out the answer. So, on to two down. Dogs, one brought into the film festival location. Now, there, we need a word for dogs. And we're going to bring one into it, something meaning one. Now, again, certainly... Um, Think of short words, although I will give you the tip this time that cur, which I would often think of for a dog, and begins with a C, which we have in the answer, is not right. So think of a word for dogs. Uh, what we're actually going to do is bring the one into a film festival location. Now, there's not that many film festival locations. The reasonable general knowledge put a one somehow into a film festival location and see if you can get a word for dogs might be types of dogs or it might be dogs generally. So have a pause if you need one. And we'll put one, the Roman numeral one, which is I, into Cannes, one of the most famous film festivals. And we get canines for dogs. Lovely clue. We'll try three down. We've got an R at the start of a four-letter word. Spoiled pear harvest. Well, spoiled looks like an anagram indicator. So we're going to anagram the letters of pair to get a word meaning harvest. Definition at the end, and then the rest is wordplay. And in this case, very straightforwardly, an anagram indicator and the letters of the anagram, the fodder, if you like. So four-letter anagram for harvest, beginning with R, reap. Four down. Alcoholic drink from the woman beginning to renationalize railway. Well, as so often, alcoholic drink looks like it could well be the answer. Now, there's a lot of those. We're looking for one beginning with S, that's six letters. Um, so you may need the word play to kind of narrow down what you're thinking about for the alcoholic drink. So we either need a word meaning the woman or from the woman to start with. 
then beginning to renationalize is probably the beginning letter of renationalize and then a word or abbreviation for railway and as Simon advised yesterday always think of short synonyms and abbreviations pause if you can put those together for yourself and we have she R and RY for railway it's a good old ordnance survey abbreviation so we get sherry an alcoholic drink and we move on to five down spaces for printers city editor keeps five in servitude now this is the most complex one we've come to yet there's quite a lot of bits in this so the spaces for printers you might need some general knowledge to know some short words that can mean spaces in the printing industry um, you might have to pass on that part of the clue but that doesn't matter too much because you can make that up with the rest we need a city think of the shortest city name or abbreviation you can editor an abbreviation for that and keeping five so probably back to Roman numerals put put the numeral for five in amongst those letters for city editor after something that might mean spaces for printers but here's the key bit we need the answer to mean either servitude or in servitude and it begins with e so how do you get along with that we need four bits in that the spaces for printers the city the editor and five and the answer is enslaved now both n's and m's can be spaces for printers i believe there are n dashes and m dashes meaning kind of hyphens and the long dashes that mark the size of n's and m's for printers now you you might well have known that or you might not la is the city los angeles ed is the abbreviation for editor and v is five just as we expected and enslaved means in servitude this time so let's hope for a something more straightforward at six down bitter harangue cutting off dye and a close-knit group well that looks like actually i don't know so um we're pr cutting off dye dye wouldn't be in the clue unless she was kind of contributing the letters somehow i would say um well hats off to you if you know what that is I, I would think the answer is going to be the bitter harangue and i would guess oh no it could be okay i've got it a bitter harangue we need a word for a bitter harangue we normally look for a short word like rant or rave or <clears throat> i don't know there aren't that many words i can think of for a bitter harangue but once we've found a word for bitter harangue, we need to cut off D, I, and A all from it. And then the answer will be a close-knit group. So we need a word for a bitter harangue, which includes D, I, A in it. Um, and it's probably eight letters long, so we can cut off the D, I, A. And we were left with a five-letter word for a close-knit group. So pause, have a think about that bitter harangue and well done if you thought of dire tribe where we can take die and a off it to get the tribe so we'll move on to eight across we've got three of the letters in this now vote against closure of electric avenue curving inwards it looks a lot like curving inwards is going to be the definition there probably some sort of slightly scientific or possibly very scientific meaning for curving inwards and a vote against again we're looking for a short word for either to vote against or a vote against something and then closure of electric avenue let's split up electric avenue what we sometimes call a lift and separate it's presented as a phrase but we probably don't need to think of it as a phrase and we could take the closure probably the last part of electric and then the an abbreviation or a word for avenue so we need to make it up of a vote against or vote against the closure of electric and an abbreviation for avenue meaning curving inwards and pause if you want and the answer is 
concave, where the vote against is a con, pros and cons. Um, the closure of electric is the letter C, and AVE is an abbreviation for avenue, as in street names and so on. Now, nine across. Now, this is great because the, the clue is show some flashiness, question mark. Five letters. We've got an S and an I. And this is building on the um, work we've done over the last couple of days on and lit clues. So these are clues where the whole clue provides the answer, the definition, but also the whole clue provides the wordplay for the definition. So in this case, we want something that could mean show some flashiness. That's why the question mark's there, because it could mean that. But we also want to show in the answer some of flashiness. So look for a word hidden in flashiness. And the answer is shine. Well done. Straightforward. And a very clever clue that uses those words to both provide wordplay and definition. And we move on to 10 across. Kiln's broken connection, or broken's immediately making us think it could be an anagram. So what we're going to have to anagram is clearly the four-letter word kiln to mean a connection. And I think you've probably got there quicker than me. It's link. 11 across. Other ranks nominate for every part of unit for decoration. Sorry, I misread that. Other ranks nominate every other part of unit for decoration. Well, other ranks is traditional army. Uh, it abbreviates down to two letters. Simon yesterday thought it stood for ordinary regiment. It doesn't. The abbreviation stands for other ranks. So that's pretty straightforward at the start. Nominate. We need a fairly short word meaning nominate. And then every other part of unit is almost certainly... Two of the letters of unit, meaning either the odd-numbered letters or the even-number letters in the unit. And then the whole answer, or you put that all together for a decoration or some decoration. And have a go at that. We need a word, uh, an abbreviation for other ranks, a word for nominate, and then two of the letters of unit. And the answer is clearly ornament, meaning decoration. And um, well done. Very straightforward, I think, again. And now at 13 across, result of photo of the sky, question mark. Now, what we get used to is that question marks can mean a couple of things. They can either mean that the clue is giving you an example of the answer. So this could be what the sort of thing we're guessing at. Or it could mean that there's a pun going on in some way. So we need a six-letter word that's going to mean result. And somehow that word could be deconstructed to suggest a photo of the sky. Now, that's a bit harder, but I'm going to put the answer in in a moment. And congratulations if you thought of the synonym for result that is upshot. And obviously an upshot, a camera shot pointing upwards, could give you a picture of the sky. It's a nice little pun. And... Next couple of times you hear the word upshot in use, you may think of the photographer looking upwards. 14 across. We've got an E second letter. We'll move on to the downs again after this one. Place of eternal punishment, unending for each a better. It looks very clear to me, I don't know the answer yet, that the definition is going to be the place of eternal punishment. So some um, word or synonym for hell or possibly... Um, we could be looking at hell being used in the answer itself. Um, and in fact, unending is going to mean that either the element of the clue before it or after it loses its last letter. So hell or something like it, and then something meaning for each, one of them loses their last letter, and the whole thing means a better. Well, there's not that many words for an abeto, and the hint about hell may have helped. The answer is helper. So per means for each, and the whole thing means an abeto, somebody who helps. So well done if you got that. That wasn't the most straightforward one of the last few. 
So we'll go to the long down down the right, seven down. We've got quite a few letters in this, E, T, R. Landlord bosses pre-printed stationery. Well, clearly the, well, clearly to me, the definition is pre-printed stationery. So we need to think of some example of stationery that's been pre-printed. A landlord, we need a, um, a synonym for a landlord. Now that could be in the sense of a um, publican, or it could be in the sense of somebody who hires houses out. And then we need a word for boss after that. So have a think about a word for landlord. Use the letters in the grid if that's going to help you. And then a word for boss to mean a pre-printed stationary item. And the answer is letterhead, where a landlord is a letter because he lets properties. And a boss is a head, and the whole thing is a letterhead. Moving on to eight down, we've got kernel associated with us, not so neutral or tame. So in this case, we, we can see C blank L at the start of the answer. So we're thinking straight away of an abbreviation for kernel to go in there. Associated with us comes next. That's, and again, we need a short word meaning associated with us. And then interestingly, I think we have to break up not so neutral or tame into not so, and we need a word meaning that. And then the whole answer is going to mean neutral or tame. So if you've managed to work out the first two parts of the wordplay there, you've probably got near the answer. And have a think, and I'm going to put it in now. The answer is colorless. And we had coal for the kernel, hour for associated with us, and then not so, meaning less. And that's as in the phrase, as in any phrase, you know, not so dusty, less dusty. And the whole answer meant neutral or tame. So they kind of gave you two definitions where colourless can mean either of those things, but insipid. <coughs> so 17 across. Somehow salvages desert city. Now, somehow in crossword clues can mean in a way, but it can often mean put these letters in some order. So let's look at the word salvages and see if that provides us with the letters for a desert city, 3, 5, beginning with the letter L. And have a think. And I hope you came up with Las Vegas, a very famous desert city and an anagram of salvages, quite a neat anagram. Now, 19 across, move on the subject of bloodshed. Now, it looks to me like bloodshed is going to be the definition. So we're looking for a four-letter word ending in E, meaning bloodshed. And then the earlier parts of that are going to be a very short word, meaning move, and a very short word or abbreviation, meaning on the subject of. So have a think. And well done if you came up with go re, making up the word gore for bloodshed. And the next across, 21 across, we're looking for stone added to display rack, beginning with an S. And we've got an abbreviation for stone to start with. And then something meaning to display as the rest. And the whole answer is going to be rack. Again, as always, there's a definition at the beginning or end of each clue. Only the end letter earlier was an, ex was an exception. So, have a go. And well done if you've got this. This is one of the harder ones, I think. The stone looks to me like ST, and to display is to air. And that gives us rack as the definition for stare. Now, I'm not immediately certain if that a fair definition of stare, I presume it is, because it's normally checked. Um, it's not a definition that would have occurred to me. It's in fact a definition that's so different that I'm wondering, is there a chance that it's not going to be right? So I'll make a little mental note when we do the downs connected to the 21 across that those letters might not be right, but it looks probably right. You know, there are areas in which stare and rack are similar. So we move on to 22 across, lad, tour, ragged, stretchy costume. Well, even seeing the words lad, tour make me think, well, they're not there to 
give you synonyms. They're clearly there because the letters are useful. And ragged, again, kind of proves that we're going to need an anagram of lad tor. It ends in D, and the whole thing means stretchy costume. So have a think. And in goes one of Countdown's favorite words, leotard. Quite a hard anagram, given the letters, because it's not one of the kind of more common constructions. It hasn't got a normal ending, hasn't got a normal beginning. But well done if you got that. Stretchy costume, I hope, was quite helpful. Um, we won't have a look at 23 down. We'll try and get the downs off the letters we've got. So 12 down. 4-4 four, four is the... Uh, length of the words. And we've got some letters in the grid. So, unwilling to work with British on Muslim festival, the French. Now, that's pretty hard. There's, again, there's, despite only being eight letters long, there are four parts of the word play there. And they are unwilling, well, unwilling to work seems to be the definition. So then the word play is made up of something, an abbreviation, for British, something that's on could be just the word itself or a, a synonym. A Muslim festival and the in French. So have a think and I'm going to give the answer now. And uh, two things to note here that it helped to have the general knowledge of knowing the Muslim festival Eid, E I D so that we could make up B plus on plus Eid plus L-E. And rather as suspected earlier, my 21 across stare was wrong. So I was confident enough to put it in, but I was a little bit worried, and the little bit worried should have prevailed. 21 across actually said, stand added to display rack, a uh, stone added to display rack. Sorry, I give away the answer there. It's stone and then in fact you use the part of the clue that says added to and to give you the rest of the answer and the display rack now is a stand so I missed past that clue congratulations if you saw that as I went along and if you went how can a rack be a stair that's nonsense both of those conclusions would have been right and uh, I got one wrong as I went along but the great thing with crosswords is you get a crossing entry to help check most of the time not always true. In a Times Championship final once, I had the letters P blank R in the grid and I saw the word roost in the clue and I quickly filled in perch and moved along. A bit later in the puzzle, that H that I'd filled in was confirmed. But what I hadn't realised was the word in the clue was roast and I'd misread it and the correct answer was parch and that was one opportunity to win the Times Crossword Championship blown by misreading a word and then getting a bit unlucky with the crossing letters not correcting me. So, 15 down. P, O and A in a seven letter word. Fuel sometimes supplied in bottles supporting sheet of glass. Now I think that we're looking for an answer that's going to mean a fuel or a fuel sometimes. And then we need possibly supplied in bottles will be part of that definition because I can't think of what that would give you in a wordplay context. So there might be a word for supporting, short word for that, and then a word for a sheet of glass and the whole thing to mean a fuel, some, fuel sometimes or fuel sometimes supplied in bottles. Have a think. And the answer is propane. It is a fuel sometimes supplied in bottles. Well, more often in canisters, I would have thought. Um, supporting is pro, just as we had con for an argument against afterwards. We have pro for supporting here. And the sheet of glass is a pane. Not quite sure why the, quest, why the clue gets a question mark. Um, we move on to 16 down. Garment maker alternatively extending part hanging at back of coat. So we're looking for an answer that means a garment maker. We've got an A and an L in this six letter word. And alternatively, we need a short word for alternatively, which has to extend or go after a part hanging at back of a coat. So a quick think. And we have 
tailor put in very swiftly there. Um, the tail is the back part of a certain type of coat, and or means alternatively, and the garment maker that puts those together is a tailor. 18 down, clever sting, five letters. Well, a short clue like that is either going to be an and lit or more likely, given that there's two separate parts to it, a double definition. So we need a five-letter word beginning with S, A in the middle, that can mean mo both clever and sting. So it can be both an adjective and either a noun or a verb. Have a quick think. And the answer, I hope, occurred to you if you're smart which can mean to smart or being smart. Now, 20 down. Choice of mild anaesthetic, initially prolonged unconsciousness. So initially always means that you're looking for an initial letter or some initial letters. And it looks to me like prolonged unconsciousness is going to be the definition there. So have a look at the initial letters you've got before that. See if you need anything to mean choice or choice of mild. And the answer is coma, the f initial letters of the first four words of the clue, meaning prolonged unconsciousness. And we come to the final answer, 23 across, 3 hyphen 7, not with large wave. It should produce an outright winner. We may be able to see the defined answer just from those letters in the grid, as I can. Or you may need to work out that you need a synonym for not, always look for a short one, and a synonym for a large wave, might be hard to find a short one there. And quick think, and the answer and useful conclusion to our struggle is a tiebreaker. So congratulations to you and to us. We've finished the puzzle. Let's submit it for the answer to see that we got it all right. And the time site will tell us that, um, I'm pretty confident it's going to tell us we're right. There we are. 600 points scored because we didn't go all that quickly, but thanks for helping me through it. Congratulations if you didn't allow my error and got stand instead of stare. They also, what's the Auden quote? What is this life of full of care? We have no time to stand and stare. Should have thought about that. Um, and I hope that's helped. This has been, I hope, an exercise in seeing that you do know the bits. Obviously, it helps if somebody is parsing the clues for you, showing you which bits are going to mean what. But the knowledge is all there. The search for synonyms is the very useful part of the clue, of the, uh, of the progress. And... Uh, the puzzle can be done. Yes, it's a quick cryptic, but all the same principles apply in the harder puzzles too. Thanks for joining me. Hope to see you again on um, the next Cracking the Cryptic.